Yeah. Hey, Fit Fam. Thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. So today, I want to share with you a couple of my favorite treats that I like to make during the holidays. I've been seeing people posting their favorite cookies, their favorite banana breads, um, just you know, all sorts of baked goods. So I thought, why not? Why don't I share with you two of my favorite treats? Let's get started. Okay, so one of my favorite things to make is peanut butter marshmallow squares. I don't know about you, but I really like peanut butter, but I like to uh, add a little twist to it. So, I mean, what we're gonna do is get our pot ready, put that on medium heat, and then we need some butter as well. And if you know me, you know that I really, really like butter. Who doesn't like butter? Jerome, do you like butter? I like butter. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my drawer is just so messy. I we start off with about, I don't know, I guess a quarter cup butter. I always use, un I use salted butter because salt just makes things taste a lot better. There's nothing really special about this recipe, but I do add a few extra ingredients. Oh, sorry, my pantry is so messy. You don't want to see inside there. Okay, so we start off with a quarter cup of butter and then about a cup of craft peanut butter and I think craft peanut butter works best with this not natural natural just has a different consistency so I like to use the craft one for this one and if you guys have your favorite recipes please comment below let me know what you guys like to have for the holidays or if you guys would like to be featured let me know DM me okay so we're just going to melt this. Oh, we need one more. Let's see. Okay. You can't forget the butterscotch chocolate chips. This is really important. And you're supposed to use the whole bag. But you know, I don't actually use the whole bag. You can if you want to. I always use maybe like 80% of the bag. Yeah, I use 80% of the bag. The rest I to eat as a snack between you and me <laughs> and so we just let this melt and then we just wait so jerome what's your favorite snack to eat or no your favorite holiday treat um i don't know anything anything that um, my my daughters and my wife cook so okay well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really have any but what do they make do they make some any cookies. treats some cookies is it chocolate chip cookies yes Okay, so my next thing I really want to make, I really, really like imperial cookies, but I, I will show that maybe another time because I've never actually made it, but I really like imperial cookies as a holiday treat. And also um, the shortbread cookies. Oh, Nanaimo bars is something I really want to learn how to make too. And it's Canadian, right? So good. RJ, you like Nanaimo bars, right? Love them. He loves them. Okay, so maybe that's, we can do that another time yeah. all right so we just let our mixture just kind of heat on medium heat until everything's all melted just a standard recipe but what i like to do is i actually like to add some peanuts but i'll add it at the end just for that extra crunch in there just so I feel like I'm adding a little bit more nutrients in here too. And if you guys are online, make sure to say hi. Who? Oh, Blessing's online. Hi, Blessing. Thanks for tuning in as always. Who else is online, RJ? Holly. Holly? Hi, Holly. Thanks for tuning in. She's wondering, is your pot not Teflon? Okay, my pot is not Teflon. This is actually induction. Uh, induction safe? Is that what it's called? Induction... <laughs> induction is a cooktop. Induction safe. I don't know. Well, it's it's an induction stovetop, so no, it's there's no... Uh, it's not Teflon or... I was... says hello. Oh, hi, Tiggis. Tiggis <laughs> like kind of desserts. Oh, Tiggis. What kind of desserts do you like to make? I'm actually curious because Tigas actually made us um, some Egyptian, not Egyptian, e Ethiopian coffee and desserts, and they were so tasty. So 
I'd like to hear from you, Tickets. What do you like to make for the holidays? Okay, so this is almost done. I just need a couple more minutes here. But you know what? Since I didn't add all of the chocolate chips or the butterscotch, I actually like to add a couple dashes of organic stevia because I like it sweet. Let's add a little bit more. Why not? And this is pure organic stevia. So as you can tell, it's very powdery, but it's so sweet. And every time you're buying stevia, you want to make sure it says 100% organic stevia. Because I, I know that there's some stevia blends out there and it's not actually stevia. So just want to double check that. Let's increase the heat a little bit. Well, I guess we're going to have lots of desserts later, Jerome. Yes. <laughs> Sweet for tonight. Yeah, for tonight. These marshmallow squares, I can eat them all the time. Never get sick of them. It's hard to stop, actually. But yeah, just let it let it melt. Who else is online, RJ? Um, well. <laughs> <laughs> says it looks yummy. Yeah, it actually is. Anything with peanut butter is really tasty. And butterscotch chocolate chips. So good. Okay, so I have another recipe I'm going to share with you also. It is my Christmas crack. I've made it um, maybe about four years ago. Uh, RJ actually wanted me to make him a sugar-free treat. And I thought, what am I going to do? You want a sugar-free treat? So um, I actually made it up. And it took me about, gosh, like 10 different tries to come up with the perfect recipe. And even to this day, I don't actually have it written down. I kind of just eyeball everything, but I hope you guys like it. I've actually brought it to the gym a couple times and it was really, it was a big hit. It was a big hit. I haven't made it since just because I've been making bars instead, but I'll be making the crack today as requested by RJ. <laughs> okay, I got some questions for you. Oh yes. What is, what's the best Christmas present you've ever received? The best Christmas present I've ever received. Oh, I don't know. That's a hard one. What's the worst? The worst Christmas present? Uh... Not one of mine, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> the best and the worst. You know what? Honestly, I it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. Like, if you give me something small, I would be happy over that, as long as it's from the heart, right? Like, I, I'm not very hard to impress, if that answers your question. But, but, so... But I did get this gift from RJ. Um, it is my watch, my my famous um, smart watch that he gave to me a couple years ago. So this is done already. Uh, he gave it to me about, I think, three years ago, and I've never taken it off since, just because I love it so much. So that's probably one of my favorite gifts ever. All you want to know, she has all that stuff. Yes. But is this when you add conflicts? No. No cornflakes, Holly. We're going to add protein powder just to make it a little bit healthier. I didn't say it's healthy, but a little bit healthier. So I like to add actually a scoop of protein powder. And then you mix it, you incorporate it. And see how it's still running, right? I actually like to add even more protein powder until I find that it's a little bit thick. So I'll start with half, one and a half, and see how thick that is. And you know what, the, the protein powder already has some sweetness to it. That's why I didn't add all of my, my chocolate chips in. And here, it's still kind of runny. So let's add an extra half scoop. So this is about two scoops of vanilla protein powder that I added in. I think that looks good. You can always add more if you want, but I don't really want to take away from the peanut butter taste. So that is my little twist on my squares, is adding two scoops of vanilla protein powder. And also, I'm just going to eyeball this, half a cup of peanuts. And there you have it. Right. Well, actually, no, I have to add the marshmallows in, but that's pretty much what I do. But you know what? Let's add, add some more crunch. 
I like that bite, you know, that first bite that you bite into, it's so good. Okay, so let that cool off for a little bit. Just going to clean up a little bit. And then, of course, we add our marshmallows. But you're supposed to let this cool. I actually made this a couple of times for a few friend of, friends of mine, and they really liked it too. They couldn't even tell the difference that I didn't add all the chocolate chips in and that there's protein powder. Okay, so while I let that cool, I'll make my second dessert, my famous crack. And once again, this is a treat. It's not an everyday treat. So I'll start this. And of course, you need your butter. So I'll start off with another half cup of butter. More butter, right? We go through a lot of butter in this house. <laughs> okay, so half a cup. Jerome, have you tried my Christmas crack? Yes. Oh, you have? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't made it in a long time. Mm -hmm. I actually made it, um, I made it about two weeks ago for RJ's challenge that he had. I don't think you were there. Were you there? Or, uh, oh, you were? Okay. So for this one. I was I, chewing some. Oh, you were? <laughs> okay, good. And then I use actually um, stevia as well, but this is a stevia blend. It's zero sugar and zero calories, and it's a blend of stevia and what's the other one? Uh, oh, your erythritol, which is also a natural sweetener, and it doesn't increase your blood sugar levels. So I like to add about a third cup of this, third cup of stevia blend, and then, no, that's two thirds. And then I like to add a little bit more of something else. I have this other one, my brown sugar Splenda. Just because you need that brown sugar taste, right? You can't really replace it with something else. So brown sugar, but it's Splenda. And it's so good. You can't even tell that it's Splenda. Okay, I just need to stir this. We're going to have so many treats later. Oh, my goodness. I know. Yes, right? Yes. Oh, I think I see a little wrapper in here. You don't want that. So, <laughs> So I'd like to know, have you guys done any baking? And if so, please comment below, send a picture. You can always uh, tag me. You can always come over to my home and drop it off. <laughs> RJ and I love treats. Okay, so I think this one is cooled off a little bit. And we'll just add our marshmallows inside. I start off with half a bag, just like that. Just incorporate it all first. You're supposed to actually add the whole bag, but I like to do half first to see how thick it is. And see how the bottom is still kind of wet. So I could add a little bit more. You can always keep adding, but you don't want to put too much in. Have you tried these before, Jerome? I think I haven't. You haven't? Okay, so that, that looks good. Okay, I'm just going to put these in my pan. Jessica says she's been doing a lot of banana bread. Oh my gosh, I love banana bread. I actually have this recipe where I do make banana bread, but I add protein powder, but you can't even tell there's protein powder in it. So now we just need a pan, put some parchment paper on. This one should be good. So okay. And then you just dump it in. 
Oh, that looks so messy. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then you can just cool it in the fridge. Okay. How is this coming along? Oh, it's melting. So we just want to let the, the sugar melt and the butter melt. You want the sugar to dissolve entirely. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear my kids in the background. <laughs> it's a busy household today. But it's quarantine, right? Can't exactly do much. What have you been doing to keep busy, Jerome? I'm always uh, at working. I'm always always working. Editing and filming with uh, doing live videos with you guys. So. Yes, thank you so much, Jerome. I don't know if you guys know this, but Jerome does so much work for us. He's amazing. You guys want to give him a big applause? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So, what do you have planned later then? More editing. Oh, more editing. Okay. So yeah, we just wait. Oh, you know what I forgot to say? We need to preheat the oven as well. You want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees because we're actually going to bake this. I have to wash my hands. Yeah, we're going to bake the Christmas crack. I've actually had a lot of people ask me for the recipe for this. I've given it. I've actually made a video on this before. <laughs> I don't know asking if for um, recipe directions I'm you know, gonna post later. Yeah, I've I've posted it before. I can post it again, but uh, I don't think anyone has actually made it, <laughs> or I haven't uh, haven't been told if someone has made it or not. I haven't seen any photos. We need to boil. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jen King. Yeah, we're going to wait for this um, yeah, to boil. It has to kind of thicken up a little bit, right? And then you can tell when it's thick, when the back of the spoon, if you touch it, then there's a line. So you'll know when it's ready. There. So it's just a waiting game right now. I don't know if you guys have uh, put up your Christmas tree yet, but we're going to do that later today. So I'm really excited for that. I've seen a lot of FitFam members, you know, working out with their tree in the background. And I said to RJ, we should pro probably put up our Christmas tree, get into the spirit, right? Do you have your tree up, Drew? Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. So we're not that far off. It's only December 6th. Yeah, I know. Um, but it's something to do, right? It's something to do. It's quarantine, right? Oh, yeah, so I know. What do you think about those people doing it before December? Before December, I don't, it, it was a little bit off for me, but I think after Black Friday is probably like a good time to put up your tree. But there is no time when you can put it up, right? As long as it's after Halloween, of course. Okay, so see how it's boiling? This is what we want, but we want this to be even thicker than that. I mean, you want it to boil for maybe a couple more minutes, about three minutes after this. It has to get really thick. I always get scared when it when it boils like this. I always think it's gonna burn, but no, it's not gonna burn. This is just what sugar does. Except it's not actually sugar. Let me turn down the heat. I had it at seven. We'll put it at a six, maybe. Let's put it at a five at medium. So what's the first thing that um, you're gonna do when this pandemic's over, Jerome. I wanna go party. You wanna go party? That's the first sure thing you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna go travel probably. Oh yeah. yeah. That's my. That's the first thing I wanna do. See. The first thing I'm gonna do is look at flights. Look at flights and see I'm if we can go have a somewhere. Party with the family. That's what I'm requesting to do. Right? See everybody. Yes. That's about it. Yeah, it is. And goes on. It is hard this time hard. of the year, and and it's hard for everyone. But you know what? I mean. 
the I space seen time. Her for a while. Yeah. Right? So, like, you only see her at um, FaceTime. Yeah. It's, it's different. You know, it is different. Time. But it just means that, I mean, there's more opportunity to make phone calls, right? I mean, how often do you make phone calls? Because I don't. No, yeah. I actually don't make, and I don't like phone calls, but I've been doing it more and more often because I have no choice, right? And that's the only way you can really communicate with others. It's actually, okay, so I saw something really funny on, on Instagram. You know how we can't have gatherings, right? Mm -hmm. So someone said, why don't we just meet at the Walmart aisle three and just have a gathering there? <laughs> it's so silly, but it's so true. It true. But don't do that. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is done. Oh, actually, no. But see how it's getting thick and boiling? So you look at the spoon, and then you just put your finger here like that, and it has a line there, and it's not dripping in. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell your sugar is ready. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this off, actually. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to add salt. Just because I like that. I like my toffee to be a little bit salty. Of course, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to add about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sea salt. Again, this is optional, but I think it tastes better with salt. Jerome, you know I like salt, right? <laughs> okay, so let that melt. Can you guess what my next ingredient is? protein powder again oh, yeah, right. it's protein but you know I actually use quite a bit of protein in here um, just to make it a little bit healthier like I said it's not a treat or it's not a healthy treat but it's a holiday treat so I like to add four scoops of protein powder and this one I got from Gorilla Jack it's this um, pop tart flavor but I mean vanilla works really well too so I like to add one scoop just like that, and then I mix. I mix it well till it's incorporated because I like it to be thick, but you want it to be mixed well first. So that looks good. And then I'm gonna add another scoop of protein powder. And I like this one from Gorilla Jack because uh, there isn't a lot of fillers in this one. It's actually really thin. And it's really sticky, so you know that there's not a lot of fillers. Keep mixing. And that's good. Okay, and then I like to add even more. So a third scoop of protein now. I know. So there's actually quite a bit of protein in here. Okay, so this is almost the consistency that I want. But I want it even thicker, so you know what? Let's add, let's add another scoop of protein, or let's do a half scoop. Let's see. Yeah, so about three and a half scoops of protein powder. Okay, mix that well. Okay, so see how it's coming? It's becoming a dough almost. And look, it's kind of separating from the pot. This is the consistency that I want, so I think it's ready now. Okay, so we just need a pan. Um, where's my pan? Oh, okay, here. Found it. And then you want to get your parchment paper. And you don't need to grease it because there's so much butter already. We get that. And then we just plop it on. And then you want to spread it. It doesn't really spread a lot, but I just spread it with a spoon. And it doesn't have to be super thin. I actually like it on the thicker side. But you do want it to look look nice, right? Almost like you want a perfect triangle, or sorry, rect rectangle, if you can. That way it's all even. This is like the art of making it look nice. I still want to decorate a cake. I haven't done that yet. That's my next thing to do. So I've been really into decorating cookies now, Jerome. 
nice. I bought this platter, mm -hmm. this cookie kit, I mean. That way I can decorate it with the kids because I really want to practice decorating. That's good. Quarantine things. It's a good thing I work out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that looks good. And that's it. We plop this in the oven for about five minutes. We're going to bake it. And you know what I do? Because I don't want it to burn, I actually just hang out here and I watch it. This is like no lie. I seriously stand here all day, or not all day, for like three, four minutes and I watch it. I have to. Yes. So we're just going to stand there and watch it. <laughs> but it's, it's true though. If I'm cooking, I'll actually stand... I'll stay in the kitchen. I can't leave because if I actually leave, then something's going to burn. But that's what I do. Has anyone else commented on what they like to make? If I can travel anywhere, it would be Hawaii. Hawaii would be the number one. Second place would be Mexico. I really want to go to Mexico so badly. Um, Third would want to, I'd want to go to, I don't know, my kids are still really young, so I don't really want to do long trips yet. Um, oh, Disney, Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland so badly. When it's safe to do so, obviously, right? Um, Tell us about Hawaii, because Hawaii is not like a city. Hawaii is multiple islands. Hawaii is made out of, is it four islands or eight islands? 13 islands. Oh, Oh, Hawaii's, there's 13 islands in Hawaii? I didn't, I didn't know it's 13. I thought it was only four or eight. But we've been to four. We've been to um, Oahu a couple times. The big island a couple times. Three times, is it? We've been to Maui, and then we've been to Kauai. And my favorite islands, I think, are all of them except Kauai. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Okay, Kauai, I, I liked it. I liked it, except um, it was a few degrees colder, which I did not like. Because when I go to go on vacation, I don't like to wear a sweater. And I felt like I was underdressed and I want to buy a sweater, right? And it rained quite a bit, so I didn't like Kauai. So the weather, it was colder, it was more wet, and there wasn't a lot of beaches. My favorite? My favorite? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I really like Maui. I really like the weather. I love the beaches and the scenery. Um, I liked Oahu because it had everything. It had the nice beaches and a, oh, hang on. See, this is why I stand here to wait for my for my crack, right? And <laughs> I can't get distracted. So it has a lot of color already. So this is what you want it to look like. Let's cancel that. So let me get a board here. Okay, so this is what your base is supposed to look like. It's a little bit warm still, but that's okay. And then we add chocolate chips, except I'm using Prisda brands. These are um, Stevia sweetened chocolate chips. So there's no sugar in there, but there's so much fiber in here. So this is really good for you if you're backed up. <laughs> Okay, so I like to add about, um, I don't know, just, you're supposed to add two cups. I just like to add enough until it's fully covered, right? Here, let's do this. Yeah, so about two cups of chocolate chips. And if you don't have these, you could also use just regular chocolate chips, not the end of the world. Or you could use, I think there's a Lily brand, which is pretty good too. But just any chocolate chip. But I like the Stevia brand. There. You know, let's add a little bit more. Why not, right? Um, here. And I've had a couple people ask me, where do I get these? I actually get these from Sobeys. And it's really hard to find these. So when I see it at the store, I get like five bags at a time because I never want to run out. So you want to... So you can find it at Sobeys, Superstore... Safeway. Okay. And then what we're going to do is add it back in the oven for about a minute because you want this to melt, right? We have to let it spread. So the oven is turned off, but we're just going to let it melt. Okay. 
So back to that question, my favorite island would probably be, I think it would have to be, um, I think it's the big island. Oh, yeah. I really like the big island because it has nice beaches, yeah. not a lot of sand like Maui. It's more rocky beaches, yeah. but there's good snorkeling. Um, the volcano is there too. Um, if you ask me, I'll be Mo Maui. You like Maui? Oh, you've been to Maui. I have lots of flirts. It's very nice. Okay, yeah, Maui's really nice, but it's so expensive. Like, you really know the difference with the price from Maui and the Big Island. Yes. We're actually supposed to go there in January, but that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my relatives there, my aunts and my uncles and cousins, uh, they're all there, and uh, yeah. Okay. Time to visit maybe next year, if um, possible. Mm hmm. Just gonna clean up a little bit. Get my board out. Okay. So let's take a look at our crack again. I hope you guys make this and tag me in it so I can see. So you take your spoon and then you just spread out the chocolate chips like that. So you just spread the chocolate chips to the end. As neat as possible. But you're going to cut it so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so this is how you do it. And you cut the dessert right yeah. all day long. And you know, you can also add toppings on this too. You can oh, add wow. um, you can add some sea salt if you want, like the, the kosher one, the really mm -hmm. big flaky ones. Or you can add some nuts. You can add um, some crushed candy cane if you want. You can add some toffee bits. Uh, what else can you add? You can add pretty much anything. You can add coconut flakes if you wanted to. I don't actually add that just because I like this plain as is. Okay, so that's done. Neri's cracked, but this has to chill. So you want it to chill for a couple hours in the fridge or overnight. So I actually made one. I want to show you guys what it looks like. So, Ta-da! It's the magic of television, right? <laughs> okay, so let's put this in the fridge, let it cool. Okay. Let me get a knife here. Which is why I said put it on parchment paper, that way it just slides off easily. Hi Kelly from Pampanga. Okay, so when I slice this, I actually like to cut out the sides because it looks really messy, right? So let's cut the sides out. And if you guys ask me for the macros on this, I really don't know what the macros are. But I know it's about, one square is about 125 calories when I did the math last time. Oh, well, hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi, what's up? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so hard. So hard. I just like to cut in big squares, about two inches. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, hi, Kai. There we go. And then you just stack it up like that, and it looks beautiful already. Okay, and there you have it. These are my famous crack bars. So if you look at it, you have the chocolate layer, and then you have the caramel layer, and it, you know, it actually reminds me of score. If you bite into it, it's really hard. Mm. It's really good. Hi, Kai, just a second. Mommy's almost done. And these are my... Um, <laughs> and these are supposed to be my marshmallow squares. It still needs to be cooled off. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Still needs to be cooled off. So I'm going to cut it later and then we'll enjoy it as a family later. But these are my famous holiday treats. My Neri's crack with protein powder. And then my marshmallow squares, which I added peanuts and protein powder in as well. 
So if you guys like this, please comment below. If you guys have any special recipes, please let me know. Tag me, um, and I'd like to try it. Oh, and next week we will be visiting Kelly at Pampanga Restaurant. So that'll be really exciting, and we're going to have some Filipino food. Yummy. <laughs> oh. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye now.